Hi, I'm Kurt, an interpretation assistant at the historic New Orleans Collection. Here, in their restored private residence, our founders, the General and Mrs. Williams, have given us a unique glimpse of the design and interior decoration of homes in the mid-20th century. Each room reflects Mrs. Williams' tastes and her dedication to filling it with unusual antique objects. Already a collector of historic New Orleans items, when Mrs. Williams returned to the city following the Second World War, she and her designers, Mark Anthony and Lawrence Thompson, set about filling the newly reconfigured house with items from the late Georgian and early Regency periods of England, from about 1750 to 1850, and small boxes were a particular favorite. In her formal drawing room on the first floor is prominently displayed a tea caddy of fruit wood in the shape of a pear from about 1850. Note that it has a lock. When tea was first being imported to Europe from Asia, it was quite valuable and warranted protection. Across the room, on a French provincial game table, is an English Regency gaming box from about 1830. It is wood and is decorated with faubois painting of the Royal Pavilion in Brighton, England. The private rooms on the second floor of the Williams residence hold many more examples of her collecting. In the sitting room, on a pair of mid-19th century Chinese spice cabinets of lacquered parcel gilt and painted wood, are an 1810 English Regency string box of turned mahogany and a round covered box of japanned wood, a European version of Asian lacquerware, with incised floral sprays from about 1850. In the hallway, leading to Mrs. Williams' bedroom, is a lacquered, parcel-gilt papier-mâché tea caddy from the Qing Dynasty, about 1820, with carved and gilded hardwood feet. And here, in her bedroom, overlooking the Priscilla Lawrence courtyard, are two more English Regency tea caddies, each in the shape of an apple, one of mahogany, and the other of rock maple. This eclectic assortment of decorative items in their French Quarter residence are only a small part of their legacy that has become the historic New Orleans collection.